So next we're going to assess the spinal reflexes, which are used to uh, determine if a lesion is within a certain part of the spinal cord or if the animal has neuromuscular disease. You can either do it with the dog lying down if they're nice and relaxed or standing up can often be easier. We use the patella reflex, tapping the patella tendon to assess the femoral nerve and then the withdrawal reflex, the gastrocnemius and the cranial tibialis to assess the sciatic nerve. When you're assessing the muscle tendon reflexes, it's uh, easiest to put your digit, a thumb or a finger on the middle of the belly of the muscle and then tap that. When you do a withdrawal reflex, make sure that the animal flexes all of the joints and the reflex is flexion of all of the joints. Deep pain perception is when you're looking for a behavioural response from the animal and is something different. When you're doing it standing up, I use my knee shoved bet uh, between the animal's leg to help support the weight. Doing the forelimb reflexes can sometimes be more uh, tricky. Sometimes you don't get much of a, um, a, a, a reflex. Um, we have the, tr uh, the triceps for the radial and the biceps for the muscular cutaneous. And again, the most uh, useful reflex for the forelimb is the withdrawal reflex. Again, you see flexion of all the joints. The cutaneous truncae paniculus reflex um, assesses um, the, the uh, lateral cutaneous nerve coming out at T2. And finally, we have the perineal reflex, which is assessing S1, S2.